M0FXB, let's pair this budget keyboard from Amazon, which does have a pad, a mouse pad here, with this Zygu. So we will turn on, and we have been doing it already, but we will go to System Settings, turn to Bluetooth, select, turn on Bluetooth, and it will start to search. This is the button for turning on Bluetooth here, on off. When it finds it in the list, just turn it. Now it's already found it, we're already connected. You just turn it to the one you want and, and you can disconnect or connect. And I have connected as you can see. Now let's exit. Let's see what we can actually do. So let's see if we can see a mouse pad. Look, see the, see my mouse? So we can select display settings. It's pretty good, eh? And that's your back there. So I'm really pleased actually how well it's working. So let's do an annoying, uh, more a difficult one. Let's go to system settings and we'll select wireless LAN. Then this time we'll select password. And you can see I can put a password or I can exit. So I'm actually really pleased with that. I just want to show you that if you get a, you know, a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, and it is Bluetooth connected, by the way, there's no wires, get one with a mouse pad. Then you get the boat, you get both, you get mouse, and it does, it, you know what, it does actually make life a lot easier. Than, you can't tap the screen, and you have to, you, you're trying to select things. Let's, let's select the, I've selected that. I wonder if it will change the frequency. So I'm going to go down with the arrows, just these arrows here. Let's see if it, oh no, it's not doing that. What it is doing, it's moving the square. So let's come out of the menu, let's try again. Sorry, it's the wrong button, it's this one here, isn't it? So I could have selected that with the thing. Now let's select the key. Let's see if it will go up and down. I don't think it will. No, but can we select the other letter? No, so it's not letting me select the, the frequencies. Now, how about any of these items? No, so it's letting me select settings, really. See that? Back, we can go back. Let's just click where the clock is. All of that. I didn't realize that gave you a, a shortcut. Look, when I click where the clock is, see that? I was not doing it now. Let's go above. How about we click RIT? Well, I don't know how that happened. And again as well, look. Let's go exit. I click something. And it maybe it was three presses. And it took me to the menu, didn't it? Now I can't do it. <laughs> well, it's all right. I'll have a little play. Now we, we can definitely select all these things at the bottom. Have a play, see what you think. Let's try filters. If we push filter here. Filter, yeah, it's letting me do that. Now let's just try some of the keys on the actual keyboard. We'll try the escape button, see that does anything? I'm just gonna push all the buttons here. Let's see if it does anything. It doesn't really do much. It's more about just easier selection. Look, if we wanna exit there, we close. I still wanna know how I managed to do that. Oh, I know, if I click Bluetooth, no. How did I do that? Went into the settings menu, didn't I? Anyway, I think we've seen enough, but fun radio. Great fun and sounds great. And you you know, you need external speaker sounds a lot better. The other app I'm going to try in a minute is the Android app called FTHCM, which will do FTA without even any wires. Bye for now, 73.